So Grand Theft Auto Bike has had a lot of attention this week and that's for a number of reasons. First of all, it's Grand Theft Auto. Second, it controls your trainer. Third, there's free ride, you can ride anywhere. Four, you can upload your rides to Strava and Training Peaks. And five, there's guns. With a large number of queries coming through about how to get this all working, it is a bit of a process. I thought I'd put together a video today which will cover what you can expect the experience to be like, first of all. Is it for you? Is it something that you can set up? Secondly, what you need to get this up and running or riding. Thirdly, a guide on how to get it working step by step to get your Grand Theft Auto 5 on PC up and running with your smart trainer. Some advanced troubleshooting and then a few handy tips at the end. I thought I'd kick off today with a discussion on what the experience is and what you can expect the experience to be like riding your bike on Grand Theft Auto 5. Well, first of all, it's single player mode only. So don't expect group rides, group races, or anything like that happening anytime soon. Not quite a Zwift killer in that respect. Uh, there's predefined course riding where there's a number of courses already listed in the mod that you could just select on start and just it'll take you auto riding through those up the hills and down the hills and things. Uh, there's free riding with autopilot so you can just Click no course and ride, it will just guide you through some random roads. And there's full free riding. And yes, you can steer, it's uh, game on, you can ride anywhere. Anytime you're using autopilot, you can't use the guns while you're moving. You have to stop before you wave to other people. Uh, in free ride mode with free steering, it's game on. You can load up on weapons and go nuts as you're riding your bike. What are the cards with my words out we have to play here? Oh! I kind of deserve that, I was shooting people, so. So when you get this all set up and working, on the bike you will feel the gradients like sim mode. If you see a hill on course, it'll feel like you're riding up a hill on that smart trainer or smart bike. When you're riding down a hill, it'll get easier too. Gradient isn't the only attribute that's sent through to the trainer, there's a few other ones, but the one you will feel is the gradient. If you have a kicker climb or a kicker bike that does the tilting indoors as well, yes, you will tilt up and down as your little avatar rides around Los Santos. As the saying goes, if it's not on Strava, it didn't happen. And yes, this mod to the game does record your fit file data. You will get power and cadence from your connected trainer or device. You'll get in-game speed, distance and gradient, and it will record virtual GPS coordinates. So yes, you can upload to Strava, Training Peaks, Today's Plan, wherever, and keep track of your training and game playing at the same time. What you'll need to get this working is all listed right here. Starting off with a Windows PC or a notebook computer capable of running games, in particular, an installed version of Grand Theft Auto 5. You can go the retail version, the Steam version, or the Epic Games version, which now works as of yesterday. You'll need an Ant Plus USB stick. You'll need an Ant Plus FEC compatible smart trainer or smart bike. Support for just power meters and standard trainers may be coming in the future, but at this point in time, the mod only supports Ant Plus FEC controlled trainers, which is pretty much every smart trainer out there. You'll also need the GT Bike V mod software and a few other things, which I'll go through in just a few moments to make GTA Ant Plus compatible. And one last thing, it's really handy to have a keyboard with a numpad. My little tiny wireless keyboard didn't have the numpad on the side and getting a few of these mods working was a bit of a struggle. So I had to fork out $10 for a USB keyboard. Always handy to have one of those. Diving a little deeper into the software configuration and downloads that you need to get this up and running, this list here will be in the video description below as a reference. But as a summary, Grand Theft Auto 5 installed and working, you need Scripthook V downloaded and installed, scripthookv.net, and obviously the modification, which is the GT Bike 5 extracted into the right place. Now, that can be a little tricky. Here's the process in full. Okay, here we are on the Alienware PC that I have a copy of Grand Theft Auto 5 installed. It's the Epic Games launcher version. And I have started it up and gone into story mode and made sure I can get that working up on this system. Now, the three components we need to download are right here. We need Scripthook V, we need Scripthook V.net, and we need GT Bike 5, the mod. Let's pull those three downloadable components now. So one, two, And three, that'll pull the latest version of the GT Bike mod down. Once I click there, there we go. One, two, three components. Cool. At a basic level, that's all we need from there. Now we jump over to the file system. We can see our downloads here. Scriptook V, Scriptook V.net, and the mod. Now we need to find out where our Grand Theft Auto is installed. For this version in particular, the Epic Games launcher version, it's located in Program Files, Epic Games, GDAV, 
and there is our base install directory. So you can see that's where it is for this particular install. You can choose where that goes when you install Grand Theft Auto. So you should be able to find that, no problems. You can right click your icons here and find out where they are, but that's how to find it. Uh, we go scripthookv.net, the bin files from that, drag and drop over into the main directory. That's what we need to do there. Native trainer is the additional trainer that we need. We could put God mode on and a few other teleportation options. So that's always handy to have. Back over to scripthookv.net. Again, to make it easy, we just grab all of those, except the readmes, and we dump those over into the main directory. Easy as that. And finally, GT bike. We open up that zip file. Now it scripts, we drop that directory in here. So scripts becomes a folder and everything that's in there. And the other component we need to grab is mod settings, but mod settings needs to go into documents, Rockstar games, GTA 5, into this root directory here. This is only created once you've started GTA 5. So if you're going fresh, you need to start it first. So you have this folder structure and we drop mod settings into here. All going to plan, that is all we need. So we'll close that. Within mod settings, you'll find the pre-configured courses or predefined course list, which you can edit and play around with. We'll leave those alone for now. But the GTA bike config is an ini file, which is short for initialization and from here, you can play with a few things. So Imperial false, that's fine for me. I'm in metric. That's probably the one thing you want to convert for now if you want to go to Imperial. So change that to true if you're in the US. Everything else looks pretty good for me, right? Done and done. Let's uh, kick it off and see how the install's gone. Okay, game loaded, story mode's what we're after for this mod to work. Okay, story mode's dumped us outside, that is quite handy. Sometimes it'll take you indoors, sometimes it will place you in a vehicle. If you're in a vehicle, you do need to exit. We can see here we are in basic story mode and we are outside. Now to see if the mods are working, F4 on the keyboard We'll pull up two things. First of all, you have the console overlaid with the native trainer. So escape to get rid of the console and the num keys to move up and down the selections here. So player, we are Michael. We'll switch over to Michael. That usually works best. We'll then go back and we will fix player, player fix, reset skin, default skin mode. Okay, everything's working here. And this is where we'll start our ride just to see if it works for now before switching over to my other machine and showing you what it's really all about. So back here, okay, we can close that by F4. F5 is what we're after and that has worked. So we can activate the mod from here. We've got no course selected, which is fine for now. And once we click on activate mod, there we go. We are on the bike and this appears to be up and running just perfectly with the Epic Games version, fantastic. Okay, F5 again to get rid of that and here we are. Ready to rip up the streets and we are good to go. F11 on the keyboard will bring up some diagnostics there. So Ant Plus connection is true. We have no speed, no power, but it has made a successful connection to the kicker bike in the background. Okay, a few quick tips on using the two mods that are installed here, both the native trainer, which is the F4 command on the keyboard and GT Bike 5, which is F5 on the keyboard. First of all, when pressing F4, you'll see it pulls up both the console and the native trainer mod. Escape to get rid of the console, and then it's the numpad arrow keys up and down and number five to enter and we want to turn on invincibility always a good thing uh, never want it if you don't want the police to chase you number five on the numpad will turn that on zero or insert on the numpad will take you back and from here we can also go and load up on guns so number five to execute on that now we have all the weapons back back again and that closes that console. Number five, that's when we'll be activated the mod before, we can deactivate the mod, which just steps us off the bike, puts us back into normal mode, or we can reactivate the mod. There we go, the guy's having a bit of a sleep down there. We can turn auto drive on or off by clicking here. Now auto drive on will self steer for you. It'll take uh, probably its random preferred routes there. And turning it off means you can steer like so on the keyboard or with any steering input device that you may have. Now courses, 
We have four predefined courses, the tourists, we have Los Santos, tour of Los Santos, no course, we have Alamo C, Los Santos Hills, and one that I'm keen to do, which we were at before, the tourist. And leaving auto drive on, we just simply start riding. And away we go, so F5 again on the keyboard to get rid of those. And there's our start there at the, what appears to be the Santa Monica Pier, but it isn't. But the tips there are F4, F5 on the keyboard, pressing escape to get rid of the console that comes up. The console will come in handy later on. And the options there under the F5 menu, auto drive, courses, and activate mod to get yourself going. And from there, it's off with a bang. All right, and if you want to start your ride with a bit of excitement, you can light up the, uh, the dance floor and get rolling. Okay, so if only it was that easy getting everything running initially. A few days ago, that process was a little harder, dragging, dropping things around into other places and crashing. And It's a lot better nowadays. That's why I'm doing a video on this today. But you still may encounter some issues. So first up, mods like this and any other mod you do can be troublesome. They can cause crashes or unexpected behavior. If you're doing anything outside the bounds of these mods, sometimes even within the bounds of the mods, you're gonna have some erratic behaviors. We're gonna send it, let's send it, let's do it, come on. Jesus! Oh! Oh, that's not, that's not right in the water. Oh, no! Oh. oh, I'm sending it so hard, it's... Uh oh. Pretty majestic though, isn't it? Really? Look what I'm up to. Can I do a flip? Things might need to be reset. Now you can use the F4 command and load up the console command such as reload or abort all or simply exit the game, jump back in and don't do what you did last time. That didn't work. Uh, the F4 or F5 command, if they're not showing anything up on screen, the problem is a little deeper. You'll need to go into your games directory, look for log files and uh, go from there. Now technically there are two other Windows components that are needed to get this up and running, but if you've got a fully updated Windows 10 machine and you've installed almost any other software, those components will be there. If you're having any other script errors or anything really weird pop up on screen, jump in the description below, jump over to the mod site for this particular mod and all the details are over there. Now onto some handy tips after using this for a few hours, uh, definitely turn invincibility mode on. Uh, you're not gonna have a lot of fun without it. Yes, you will die, you will get run over. The fit files from your activities are saved over in Documents, Rockstar Games, GTV. So you'll find everything there after your ride. The fit files are created when you select a new route or just start a ride. And they're saved and a new one is recreated if you switch worlds. So if you're riding multiple courses, you will have multiple fit files there. On Strava, you may need to use a crop or trim activities if you've teleported anywhere and have a big straight line with 10 kilometers in that. So you might need to use Strava tools to trim up the fit file if you've done that. And be sure to mark it as a virtual ride. It does have some virtual GPS coordinates which will overlay in Los Angeles. You don't want to be snagging any real life comms with your virtual rides. You can take in-game screenshots using the virtual mobile phone in-game, or you can press the F12 key, I think, to save screenshots over to your documents folder. So if you want to upload uh, all the action to your Strava ride to show people what you've been doing out on the bike on in-game, it's all good there. There's currently four predefined courses in the GT Bike 5 download, and there's a lot of people working on a lot more courses. So expect a lot of varying terrain and a lot of options in the near future. There's also now a Facebook group for this mod, which I'll link to in the video description below. Okay, so my final thoughts on this mod. Well, no questions, it's a lot of fun. If you're like me, you grew up playing GTA, and this is a crossover of the game we play now, well, the training platform that we use now, which is indoor 3D cycling. So to have those two merge together, or well, let's be honest, to ride around with some guns, it's a lot of fun. Uh, the limitations of this mod means it's not a Zwift competitor. It's not going to take over the world as the next big training platform. There's more to a cycling platform than just fancy graphics and guns, though I did say it was a lot of fun. I do think this will capture the attention of every player in the market of 3D cycling software. Not just for the fancy graphics and the guns, but the gameplay and the experience people are having. This is some of the best beta testing those companies will never ever have to pay for. If they can you know, keep an eye on the group and the communities around this and what people are doing with this free ride mode or other gamification experience of indoor cycling, you can guarantee they're gonna learn a lot from it. This could really move the needle. As for the longevity of this, will it be around next week, next month? Well, the single player side of things is very limiting. There's no social experience and that's really what gels everything together on something like Swift. So there's none of that and probably none of that in the future. 
Riding around shooting things up is great, but I think it'll get boring very quickly. Where this will shine is the predefined courses and the differing experiences that that can provide. Dirt, road, sand, freeways, highways, you name it. There's gonna be a lot to choose from, and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, enough fun and games for today. We'll leave it there. Hopefully you found this one informative. If you have, give it a thumbs up. And as always, remember to hit subscribe to support this channel. It's much appreciated. All right, we'll see you soon. Oh, I can... Yeah, take... Oi, oi, don't fall, buddy. Don't... I just want to ride off there. Yes! Are we ready? Are we ready? I'm going to so send it off this... I can't wait for this. Scenery. Von, <laughs> Von, Von's like, take a screenshot. Yeah. Where road bikes belong. Are you ready? <laughs> it's going to happen. And see, the steering is pretty responsive. All right, mate, let's go. Send it full power. Can you do it? No, he's. Just even better, even better, even better. I thought, holy moly, yes, do it. Oh, oh, yeah, come on, hey, Woo. I'm still upright. Yeah, oh, 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 Jeez. oh, that was pretty hectic.